Floral greetings from the High Ten. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Tuesday, May 12, 2020, bringing you information pertaining to Washington, D.C., Dr. Fauci, and the COVID-19 pandemic. If you need verification for the storyline, please log on to Business Insider. Dr. Anthony Fauci says there's virtually no chance that COVID-19 will be eradicated. This was updated yesterday. Dr. Anthony Fauci said in an interview with NBC Sports on Saturday that there was little chance that the novel coronavirus, which causes the disease COVID-19, will be eradicated. Fauci said that with global travel every single day, the literally hundreds of thousands of people coming into the United States every day from all over, there's no chance that we're going to be virus-free. He said that the 2003 SARS outbreak caused by another type of coronavirus was contained largely because it didn't spread as quickly as the novel coronavirus. The novel coronavirus is so transmissible that it is so widespread throughout the world that even if our infections get well controlled and go down dramatically during the summer, there is virtually no chance it will be eradicated, Fauci said. Dr. Anthony Fauci, excuse me, said in an interview with NBC sports football writer and columnist Peter King on Saturday that there was no, that, excuse me, that there was virtually no chance that the novel coronavirus, which caused the disease COVID-19, will be eradicated. While many sports fans are hopeful that the virus will be controlled enough to hold a regular football season this fall, Fauci said that given how contagious the virus is and how easily it can be spread by people with no symptoms, the logistical hurdles of holding any kind of large-scale team sporting event would be immense. Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, contrasted the, contrasted the novel coronavirus pandemic with the 2003s excuse me, 2003 SARS outbreak. That disease, severe acute respiratory syndrome, is caused by another coronavirus that is genetically similar to the novel coronavirus, but it spread less quickly. So unlike the virus SARS back in 2002, sorry, I was looking at my time, when we had an outbreak of about 8,000 people and close to 800 deaths, and then the virus just essentially petered out by good public health measures by the simple reason that it wasn't efficient, efficiently or effectively transmitted from one person to another, Fauci said. As of Monday, there were over 4 million confirmed cases of COVID-19 worldwide, including 1.3 million cases in the United States. The death toll in the U.S. is nearing 80,000. And while some parts of the U.S. have seen case counts decline, most states aren't testing nearly enough people per day to consider safely reopening for business, according to estimates from the Harvard Global Health Institute. It is so transmissible and is also widespread throughout the world that even if our infections get well controlled and go down dramatically during the summer, there is virtually no chance it will be eradicated, Fauci said, of the novel coronavirus. He also told NBC that even if the U.S. were to get its case numbers under control and adopt effective mitigating mitigation measures, it would be particularly difficult to stop the virus altogether once the world starts to resume international travel. There will be infections in the Southern Hemisphere, South Africa, Argentina, places like that, Fauci said, and with the travel, the global travel every day, every single day of literally hundreds of thousands of people coming into the United States every day from all over, there's no chance we're going to be virus free. The novel coronavirus is more contagious and deadlier than any other viruses like those that cause a seasonal flu and a vaccine for for it almost certainly won't be available by the time flu season comes around. While early trials are underway, a deployable coronavirus vaccine won't be ready for another 12 to 18 months, even by the most optimistic estimates. In the absence of a vaccine, Fauci and other public health experts have advocated testing a far greater scale using an army of contact tracers to locate and stop outbreaks in their tracks and isolating and quarantining sick people. Now, even if the virus goes down dramatically in June and July and August, as the virus starts returning in the fall, it would be, in my mind, shame on us if we don't have in place all of the mechanisms to prevent it from blowing up again, Fauci said. In other words, enough testing to test everybody that needs to be tested, enough testing so that when someone gets infected, you can immediately do contact tracing and isolation to prevent the infection from going to a couple of infections to hundreds of infections. That's how you control an outbreak. Okay, that is the said information pertaining to Fauci and his commentary on this. Uh, This is brought to you by Business Insider. So basically he's saying in the fall, when the uh, flu season resumes, it will be even worse 
with no vaccine. They're still saying 12 to 18 months, even when this commentary was coming out, what, February, March, about the virus, and we were doing the stay-at-home orders. You would think they would knock the 12, 18 months off a little bit, but they're still stating 12 to 18 months, praying for a resolution. But as he stated, when you start traveling, people going to other countries, other people coming from other countries to the states, there you have it. There's your virus being passed along. And once you start opening up the stores and venues and sporting events, people sitting close by each other, sneezing, coughing, hacking, breathing the same air, same peripheral of others, there's your virus spreading around. I don't know what is to become of us as a people, but this is a sad situation. And I'm just praying for the best. I'm praying for a vaccination. I'm praying for adequate vaccination. Adequate medicines also to help people when they get sick and need to go to the hospital and or need to be on a respirator, ventilator, which is so ever, antibiotics, just praying for adequate medicine, medicines, testing, and a vaccination for this deadly virus. And what is to become of us later down the road of another virus jumping off? Where will we be then? What will happen to us then? And as you see, Mr. Fauci is in quarantine um, because he has gotten the virus and some other White, ha White House staff, excuse me, have contracted the virus. Um, a Pence aide has gotten the virus. So as you see, there are people also there in D.C. and in the White House who have contracted COVID-19. And Fauci is under quarantine as I speak, praying for him. Very interesting. So imagine Fauci has been in the same room with Trump and other aides, reporters, and he's in quarantine. But what about old Donnie boy who refuses to wear a mask in public and on his trips speaking and talking, which I don't expect him to wear a mask when he's speaking, but you get the drift. Now imagine that. Just imagine that. The doctor is in quarantine. Nothing left to say. Like, share, subscribe. Drop your comments below. Thanks for joining me. Mask up. Glove up. Put the appropriate items in the appropriate receptacles. God bless you. Stay safe. Praying for a resolution to this virus. Praying for the safety of others, children, children, babies, adults, elderly. Those with underlying conditions. Thanks for all the wonderful prayers and comments for my brother. He's doing good. And God bless America. Stay safe. Thanks for joining me. This is Everyday Shenanigans. Bye-bye.